Hey, you all know that I am Aurora Day and I'm back. I'm back. Okay, now this is the Secured Entrepreneur Movement and I'm, I'm, I'm going to try really hard to make this my last PJ wearing video, okay? Because <laughs> this is just ridiculous. Okay, but in the past hour, as I was really getting ready to face this day, okay, because now, as many of you know, I'm not going out to meet clients. We're meeting on Skype. So, Mr. Aurora, I got to put some face on. I got to I gotta curl my hair at, at some point, put on some real clothes, okay? However, I'm going through the emails uh, as I'm getting this thing together, and this is a good one. I haven't responded to the email yet because I said, okay, this is a video because this falls right in line. Now, I don't know when I'm going to get this video up because I told you in the last video, which was an hour ago, that <laughs> I'm a 5 a.m. It happens um, that I was going to put the podcast up first. OK, so by the time you get this, the podcast would have already been up. However, this young lady emails and she's saying, uh, what how does a business qualify to be essential? Because aren't only not aren't only essential businesses supposed to be open right now why is it that when i'm going to the supermarket i'm seeing the target is open da, 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 da. okay i said this is this is a bona fide lesson right here for all the secured entrepreneurs who if you are considered a non-essential business it's time to take some tips from target okay because target has caused themselves to be essential why because they are a supermarket okay they are a supermarket all right and the essential businesses that uh, can be open Okay, one of them happens to be a, 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 a store that sells food. Now, I'm going to read the list of all of the essential businesses, okay? And I want you all to comment below if you're here on YouTube or if you're there on Facebook, okay? Are you in any of these categories, okay? I'm going to first go over the, the, the essential businesses, all right? Fire services, law enforcement agencies, emergency medical services, and public safety agencies. Healthcare services, businesses or organizations that provide food, shelter, or critical social services for disadvantaged populations. Utilities, okay? Trash collection, home maintenance, repair services, auto repair services, and trucking service centers. Grocery stores, supermarkets, hardware stores, convenience and discount stores. And you will wonder why these are essential businesses. It goes on. <laughs> Pharmacies, healthcare operations and biomedical facilities, post offices, we need that. And shipping outlets, gas stations, truck stops, banks and financial institutions, veterinary services and pet stores, laundromats and dry cleaners. Who would have thought the dry cleaners, right? Okay. Food processing, agriculture, livestock and feed mills, logistics and supply chain operations like warehousing, storage, distribution and supply chain related operations, air transportation, public transportation, essential stays in hotels. Okay. So like your, um, um, uh, 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 hold up. Commercial lodging, dormitories, shelters, and homeless encampments. You know, the hotels that you stay in and it has a refrigerator and a kitchen and all that. Child care centers and daycares operating in accordance with requirements set forth by their licensing authorities and COVID-19 guidance. Okay, where are you in that whole list? Where are you in, in that whole list? And, 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 and my response to the email, okay, which is going to be this video, I'm saying, you heard all of that, okay? These people are in business. We have a president who's constantly saying the whole world is shut down, but did you, did you hear how many companies are in business right now? Okay, so now I'm going to call out the non-essential businesses. Non-essential services and sectors will include, but are not limited to, entertainment and hospitality, including but not limited to strip clubs, and brothels, casinos, concert venues, arenas, auditoriums, stadiums, large conference rooms, meeting halls, and cafeterias. So, so you ain't getting no love in the club, okay. Recreation and athletic facilities, including but not limited to community and recreation centers, gyms, health clubs, fitness centers, yoga, bar and spin facilities. That's really specific. Beauty 
and personal care services and facilities, including but not limited to barber shops, beauty, tanning, waxing, hair salons, and nail salons and spas. They don't want us to get our beauty on, okay. Retail facilities, including shopping malls, except for pharmacy or other healthcare facilities within retail operations. Retailers are encouraged to continue online operations with pickup and delivery. Now, uh, Target is meeting all of, all of this. Target is meeting uh, retail, pharmacy, as well as grocery, okay? And to the young lady who sent the email, I'm wondering if, if, if you also have seen uh, these restaurants have a sign, and I even seen the Office Depot have a sign out there since for pickup and delivery, where you just drive up and they bring your stuff out and put it in your car and you go on about your day, okay? Um, what I find most interesting about the list, okay, which is why it is cause for concern for a majority of you who are emailing, these things that have been called out for the non-essential are things that most sole proprietors would be doing. Listen, a barber, hairstylist, you know, um, teaching yoga, teaching spin class, you know, independently, okay? These are mostly things that, uh, uh, um, what do you call it, uh, the, 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 the lady who does my nails, a nail technician, you know, uh, these people who do the kiosk in the mall, things like this. These are all so proprietary things, okay? So what we want to do now is see to it that, when I love the last line where it says, retailers are encouraged to continue online operations with pickup and delivery, okay? Because that's the key. How are you turning your business into an essence, you know, what, what the world would deem as a business that is essential to people. Now, the, here's, the, here's the part, okay? All these things that we named, we called out, okay? These are some essential things to a lot of people. And I'm going to start with the entertainment because some people need to hear music because sound is helping them, okay? Some people need to move their bodies. You know, they'll go crazy if they can't move around. There are people who need the strip clubs, okay? There, there are some individuals who they're not going to make it through the day. They're not going to make it through the end of the week. They, they have to have that type of stimulation in there. The brothel, they need to go there, okay? These, these things are actually essential to people, okay? To, uh, there are some people who have gambling habits, okay? They, they have to see the lights and, and hear the woo, woo, woo. They, got, they have to do all of that, okay? There are people who, my neighbors are going nuts because the gym is not open, okay? They're all out there. I'm talking in shorts and, I mean, just half naked. I'm like, and I'm looking, I'm like, there is a, there is a pandemic and, and you just feel like it's time to get naked. Like, okay. Um, uh, uh, the, the beauty, like, you know, you got... We as women, we have to have our hair done. Men, you know you got to keep your face clean. You got to keep your hair freshly cut. You know what I'm saying? And let's not, let's not get on retail therapy. I'm like, this is, but, but here's my point. If you're going to turn your business into what is essential to the world, okay, how, how is it that you're taking these skills and you're sharing them internationally? $50 million, $50 million, $50 million. How are you sharing your skills internationally? That's the question. Okay, so Mr. Rohr was just going to throw some things out here because that's how, that's how my mind works, and I'm watching it, okay? If you cannot barber somebody today, you can teach somebody how to barber. I would turn the camera on the same way Mr. Rohr turns this camera on. And say, whatever it is that you, however you learn how to cut somebody's hair from step one, step two, step three, this is how you do the shape up, this is how you make the design, whatever. Th those videos would be out there, okay? And then, you know, we got social distancing. You might find a way to actually, you know, bring a client in here or there in your home. I don't know, however you want to do it. But the same goes for the ladies who are doing hair, who are doing these wigs. You already see it. These girls are out here teaching you how to make these wigs. They're teaching you how to do the weaves. Okay? They're selling hair. or They, they, they don't even have inventory of the hair. Once again... And, 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 and I don't know, you know, when this video is going to be up or whatever, but I talked about it in one of these last two videos uh, where they have a drop shipping situation going on. They have a drop shipping situation, okay? So they don't even have to buy the inventory. And everybody knows 
that if you're into hair, if you're into skincare, if you're into makeup, if you're into lashes, if you're into all day parfum, somebody's buying it today. I see the Amazon truck out here at least seven, seven, eight times a day. Okay, sometimes two and three at the same time. Okay, because what did I just say? People want their retail therapy. Okay, so you have to relax this whole, you know, essential and non-essential business situation because whatever it is that you do should be essential to your audience. If you are a tarot card reader, there are a lot of people who love the tarot. Okay, that would, that's, that's essential. That's essential. Right, let me tell you what's essential to Miss Aurora right now. Right now, I'm worried about keeping my face together. That's essential. So I'm talking to people, hey, look at here. What, well, you know, what kind of facial can I get? What kind of microdermabrasion, lift, whatever the heaven you're going to do to me, that's essential to my life, okay? The same way people are hoarding TP out there, okay? I want to hoard some skincare. I want some facial products, all right? I want some all-day parfum. So does little King David. He, he has an all-day parfum. I'm not going to get into that. Because you all know how I feel about the fur, baby. Anyway, my point is, turn your so-called non-essential business into an essential business. Okay? Turn your non-essential sole proprietorship into an essential company. Okay, because this list of non-essential businesses to me, that's just disrespectful. You're not, you're not getting no respect. <laughs> okay, okay. It, you know, like, don't get me started. Don't get me started. Because I could really go in. But I'm not going to do that. Not today. Because we got too many things to do. Point is, okay, do not view what you do as non-essential. Do not do, do, do not view what you do as non-essential because you can take your skills, your talents, your gifts, your abilities and create a demand for them. That's what Miss Aurora wants to say in this hour. <laughs> okay. Mess around. I'll make another video before my first client call. Okay. Now you all know you can find me, Miss Aurora. At AuroraDayConsulting.com. And until next time.